What is up guys, my name is Hussein, also known as System Exploited, and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about a tool called the Harvester. Uh, this is a pretty powerful tool that saves time, uh, uh, that saves time when it comes to OSINT, and it's really powerful and really good, and really famous too. Alright, so before we start, make sure to drop a like, you know, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Exploited System. Uh, let's get right into it. So basically, the harvester is a very simple tool to use, all right, and very powerful and effective. It uses a multiple public data sources that include um, uh, different search engines such as Bing, uh, Bing API, um, Google, and Shodan, DNS Dumpster, Cert, CRT.sh, and it uses a lot of tools that gathers information about uh, email addresses, uh, domain names, and much more stuff, alright? So as you can see, these are the modules uh, that, uh, that the Harvester support. You can add their API keys, we'll talk about that in a little, uh, Shodan, Pentest Tools, Intel X, and so on, alright? So now let's get into the installation part. So if you're using Kali Linux, it's pre-installed on there. And I guess most secu uh, security distributions got it pre-installed. Anyways, if, you, if you're not using Kali Linux, I got you. Here are the commands needed for you to install the harvester. All right, once you do that, you will get it installed, all right? Uh, if you're on Kali, no need to worry, we got it installed already. Alright guys, I launched my terminal, now I'm gonna type in the harvester. Alright, as you can see, we got loaded into the harvester prompt, alright? So now if we actually type in the harvester minus H, you'll get um, a more detailed help option. Alright, so let's quickly go over them. Alright, so the minus D specifies the domain name that you want to search for. The minus L specifies the number of search results. So you can um, minimize the number of search results. Um, and you can use Google Dorks, of course. You can especially use Shodan. Um, and you can do a lot of stuff. Minus F uh, saves your file minus b is the source it's it's really important so basically the source is the uh, is the option that lets the harvester search search for the domain name you're, you want to search for all right and so let's dive into an example right now all right so i'm gonna type in the harvester and minus d for domain i'm gonna specify for example um let's try and do bug bounty.com and the minus b for the source you can specify google for example uh, and bing uh, but there's an option that's called all which searches and uses all the available uh, search engines that the harvester supports i really like to use this command Let's just wait for it to finish. By, uh, by the way, we'll talk about these API keys and how you can set them up. I already set up my Shodan API key. Uh, by the way, the harvester sometimes doesn't uh, give you the full results. So you can try again in a different day or in the same day or try again multiple times. You know, uh, it's a really powerful tool. As you can see, it's searching using DuckDuckGo, uh, Sublister. And virus total, DNS dumpster, uh, netcraft, URL scan. It's it really saves time sometimes. Let's just wait for it to finish. All right, guys. As you can see, the scan has finished, and it took a lot of time uh, because we specified the all command. It's fine. As you can see, these are the IPs of the website uh, bugbounty.com that it found. That's an IPv6, and these are the things that it found like i said sometimes you might not get accurate results from the first time uh so let's test it out for example using bing only and i'm gonna specify the limit is 10 let's see let's see what we get 
Alright, no emails found, nothing. So we can, you can, for example, try, let's say, example.com. Let's see what we get. Alright, that, that's a subdomain for the uh, example.com. As you can see, we found it. So if you're running a game, sometimes you might get different results. But it's really powerful and comes in handy. Um, let's try my website. I want to I wanna see my website. .com. Let's see what we get. Alright, one IP found, which is Cloudflare. And let's give it one more try. And let's specify Google. In this case. And the limit, let's just keep it 300, for example. And in here, I'm going to specify zsecurity.org, for example. Let's see what we get. Let's just wait for it to finish. Alright, we didn't get any results, it's totally fine. You can try different websites. I actually tested it on a website before this video and I got a lot of results. So, so basically in general, you will get results. You would give it multiple tries. It's totally fine. It's really powerful, guys. Um, <clears throat> so now I want to show you guys how you can set up the API keys, alright? So, if you have installed uh, the Harvester, it should uh, the file that you need to edit is API keys dot y um, In Kali, it's under the etc the harvester directory. So if you actually do clear, all right, guys. So if you do nano, um, if you do nano and slash API, press enter. As you can see, guys, here are, you're gonna input the API. All right. So under the key option, uh, every website has different options. For example, uh, census, uh, the ID is different. Uh, you need an ID and a secret uh, number. And yeah, I actually removed my API key um, uh, for Shorten. All right. And yeah, that was all about it. You can test uh, different options, guys. Uh, like I said in here, there's a lot of different options you can specify. It's really powerful, guys. Trust me, it's really powerful if you know how to use it. I really need it to cover on my channel because it's really important. All right. Uh, what you could also do, guys, is check the, resource, uh, the resources the harvester uses to do all the work. You know, you might get educated uh, and you might learn some new stuff from their resources that uh, the harvester um uses all right so that was it for today's video make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on twitter at exploited system on instagram at system exploited and you can join my discord server if you wanted to you'll get help mainly stuff for help you know you can like get help of course support uh, resources chatting and other stuff you know and yeah i'm out guys peace